Takashi Tezuka and Nintendo's Shigefumi Hino reveal the process of developing the classic SNES. From the first decision to avoid another Mario game, through the beautiful hand-drawn style, to the use of the Super FX2 update chip, our making of columns explore the iconic Space Taxi C64, the eccentric LucasArts simulation to control life after death, the dangerous radical sports title of EA Skitchen and the stealth assassins of Tenshu on PlayStation Ninja Classic, the long-awaited Toe Jam Earl back in the groove is disgusted. Of course, the magazine offers the usual selection of retro covers, news, reviews and guides. Rebecca Heinemann talks about her decades in the gaming industry and in the chair. We see the Amiga CD32 in our minority report. And Julian Gollop tells the whole story of her strategy studio Mythos Games. The 192nd edition of Retro Gamer is now available in all the good kiosks in my favorite magazines. And we started with C64audio.com to offer our readers a special kit. The magazine also includes an interview with Rob about the Hubbard project and the 8-bit symphonic concert on June 15, 2019. Mark R. Jones, a former ocean computer scientist, recounts his first month in the company of his words, invisible sketches and images of the time. And that's not all, you may have noticed that our cover story is about Yoshi Island, one of the biggest 2D platform games ever developed. Retro Gamer is part of Future PLC, a leading international media and digital publishing group. We also met Roadrunner in a final guide and reviewed the development of Head Over Heels with John Rittman and Bernie Drummond. Future UI Beverage Beverage Takeda with The Ambery, Bad BA11UA, England and Wales. Commercial registration number 2,008,885. Please visit our corporate website. There is much more to see in other parts of the call.